I'm Chani and welcome back to the Art of Science. In today's video, we are going to have some fun with magnets. So let's get started. First, let's understand what a magnet is. So let us assume that this is a piece of iron. Iron is made up of many smaller crystals. These crystals are comprised of electrons. But the electrons are aligned in such a way that they are all pointing in random different directions. However, in the case of a magnet, they are all pointing in the same direction. Which gives us the North Pole and the South Pole. So a magnet basically has an invisible force around it called the magnetic field lines. But what if I told you we can actually make this invisible force visible? First, take a piece of paper, take some iron filings, put it on the piece of paper and spread them as shown. Next, take the lid of an empty cardboard box and make sure that the width of the box is slightly less than the width of the paper. Take some magnets and place them in the middle of the cardboard box. Next. Take the paper with iron filings and place it gently on top of the cardboard. You'll quickly realize that the iron filings make this really cool pattern and this is nothing but the field lines of a magnet. A magnet, as you know, has two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. So assume that these are two magnets with their light poles aligned. Hey, I want to go this way, but I want to go this way. No! Ah. See, they repel each other. However, in case of two magnets with their unlike poles aligned against each other, something like this happens. Hey, I'm headed this way. Oh, me too. Let's go together. Bye! Take four pieces of thread measuring 40 centimeters each. Tie the two ends of the thread. Cut off the excess thread. And repeat the same for all pieces of thread. Take a ring magnet. Take the piece of thread. Put it inside the hole of the magnet and pull this end through the other end to lock it like this. Repeat the same process for all four pieces of thread and arrange them as shown. Add a small piece of tape to secure the thread. Tape all four sides of the thread down. Make sure that the magnet has enough place to float on top. Take another piece of magnet and make sure that the top of this magnet and the bottom of this magnet are the same poles. You will feel a slight push. Add a small piece of double-sided tape on the opposite side. Align this magnet exactly below this one and stick it on the table. If you get it right on your first time, you'll realize that the magnet on top starts floating because it repels the magnet below. Here's another little experiment through which you can temporarily magnetize a metal. Take a few paper clips, a few stapler pins and a really strong piece of magnet. Take the magnet, the paper clip and stroke the paper clip across the magnet in a single direction for around 30 to 40 times. What happens is the electrons in the paper clip were also aligned in different directions. But when we stroke it across the magnet, they all align in the same direction and become temporarily magnetic. Soon, the paper clip actually starts to attract the stapler pins. 
another way to temporarily magnetize a piece of metal is to pass electricity around it. Take a copper wire whose ends are exposed. Take an iron nail. Make sure that you leave a gap and start coiling the wire around it. You can add a piece of tape to keep the copper wire in place. Take a battery and tape the exposed part of the wires in the positive and negative terminal respectively. Take a few stapler pins and you'll see that this piece of screw has now become temporarily magnetized.